Tonight, we are hearing from a heartbroken friend after a Hartzell woman, a Hartzell woman, lost her life in a house fire. Stacy Colette passed away yesterday. She was hurt when her mobile home on Netherly Road caught fire last week. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Naja Sherman. Dan Schaefer has the night off. Our Way 31 Scotty K spent the day talking with one of Colette's closest friends about her loss. After learning about her friend's sudden and tragic death, Ruth Rogers is looking back on some of her favorite memories and pictures of her friend Stacy Wooters Collette. It doesn't seem real to me. I didn't understand. We never understand. That was Ruth Rogers' reaction when she learned her best friend Stacy Collette passed away Sunday after her home caught fire on Thursday. Two Hartzell firefighters entered the home and were able to find Collette. First responders performed CPR and she was transported to a hospital in Birmingham. Stacy was truly amazing. And I just thank God that she was put in my path for a reason. Rogers and Colette were best friends for eight years. In fact, they even lived together for a while. And Rogers tells me she considered Colette more of a sister than a friend. Outgoing, crazy, spunky personality. That voice, that smile. If I needed help today and Stacy would be there. Now, as she recounts some of her fondest memories with Colette, she says it's really hard, but she's keeping one thing in mind. God has a plan for Stacy, and we're not sure what it is, whether it's to watch over us or to drive us crazy, but God has something better for her. Stacy would want us to rejoice because she is at home. And in the meantime, Rogers has some advice for others. Love your loved ones because you don't know what tomorrow brings. The cause of the fire has not yet been determined. Reporting in Morgan County, Scotty Kay, Way 31 News. Morgan County deputies said in a post on social media that Colette's family reached out to send a huge thank you to all of the first responders that helped with that fire.